Hey everybody, I know it's been a while, uh, so I'm gonna try to just crank this video out. Uh, been just been busy. I'll I'll get to vids whenever I can. You can follow me on uh, Google Plus and, and and Facebook, both under Mr. Bit One Zero. Uh, I do write little rants and raves there as I'm working. It uh, takes less time than making a video. Anyway, uh, saw a uh, YouTuber I'm subscribed to did a video a couple weeks ago, which which caught my eye because it was uh, I guess a sort of a it is a Mac versus PC thing, and I thought, you know, wow, that brought me back to uh, the the old days of things. Anyway, it was uh, about Taskbar versus Doc, which I know many years ago this this was debated a long time ago. Uh, the the uh, user basically asked if the Mac could do you know certain things, and we all, we all used to do this. I don't know, like four or five years ago, with the whole the whole UI thing, which was uh, quite entertaining. Uh, anyway, um, I thought I thought it would I would thought it was just interesting and and, and maybe uh, worth a fun video. So uh, the the uh, the argument or the statement presented is: Can your can the dock and the Mac be like a taskbar? Um, to to take that, I guess for me, it seriously is like: Why would I want to be like the taskbar? Number one, I can't stay in a taskbar. I can't stay in a start menu. I think. I actually think that is antiquated versus um, using how OS X, how I use it. I actually don't even use the start menu or really the taskbar at all in Windows. I'm an icon freak in, in terms of Windows. It's probably why I like Windows 8 and I, and I love Windows 8. I'm, I'm so happy they're getting rid of uh, the start and I know a lot of people probably 99% dis, you know, disagree with me. That's okay. That's how it was with Windows 3.1, and when Windows 95 came out, and then all, you know, within a few years, people started changing and then defending the new operating system. I think uh, just changes how it goes. Um, so, I mean, to answer that question from my heart is, why would I want to emulate the taskbar? I, to me, it's just not. I, I, I kind of saw the video where they were talking about mounting and unmounting and showing on the taskbar and stuff. That that I would, I don't want to even mess or have to look at it with that. It's bad enough that I that if I want to switch without using key commands and stuff like that, that the windows take up the entire task menu. Or if I want to have quick launch and I have to like adjust this for areas, because I have tons of windows open usually when I'm uh, programming, it just you know fleets of windows and they start getting compressed and compressed. And then if I'm going to have uh, the taskbar, you know, take up so much, quick launch takes so much. To me, it just becomes utterly useless. And um, so I really don't use it in that. I don't really use it in that fashion. So I have no really need to 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 make anything really function like uh, like the taskbar or n really uh, a lot of things in Windows uh, there there are some things okay let me just back to there are some win things in Windows that I like I mean I use Windows predominantly for all my clients they're all Windows based so um, I have to use it every day and um, there's there's no getting around that right that said, um, Mac is not Windows. You know, and the, I would say Mac is more app-driven than Windows-driven. Um, granted, a, th a lot of the, the questions were about can your UI do this. Um, the last really customizable uh, OS X operating system that we did, at least back back in the day, was Tiger. After that, Apple started really taking some of the stuff out or, or making it more for a professional user to, to use uh, using using commands you, you don't really hear a whole lot on the Apple side and you know to say hey I want all this customization uh, as a matter of fact Windows has, has been downplaying customization or resetting uh, or moving these settings out and I can we have to really also talk about what kind of user is going to be doing all these kinds of things when these versus things come up because 99.9% .9 of my Windows clients don't even use the taskbars and start menus and things like that in the capacity that would that I'll do for fun just to you know to show what OS 10 uh, making the volumes or whatever up here without using uh, the terminal um, do so they they're not even using it in that capacity either most of them don't even know if I were to call it by name what it is um, or even say hey I want to do it now this particular user he's a professional and has um, his likings and his workflow and everything and I think every professional does that and every professional is going to have a bias on how they need their things set up 
and and what's going to work uh, best for them, and, and how they like it, and myself included. I'm not exempt from 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 any biases uh, with that. So, uh, really, without further ado, I'll make the second part of the vid and kind of just uh, show uh, how you do what was requested which was mounting these drives and when you mount a drive it would show up in the Windows taskbar can it show up in the uh, dock I guess conveniently um, so that's the next part of it alright so I have the screenshot here and I'm showing uh, the volumes uh, folder already in my dock I don't normally have it there again this is just a fun video I'm removing it here this applications thing is what we used to show back in the days like if we wanted to start menu which I don't so that will be removed because I don't use it in that capacity um, but that was some fun stuff we used to do anyway so um, I'm gonna go to volumes here and then uh, Mac OS 10 you don't even need to use the terminal code you could just um, hit alt pull down the folder volumes or any folder you want and just drag it into the dock and that's it so it, I don't like how it always defaults to that stupid fan thing but anyway it does <clears throat> now I'm gonna admit this th this will show everything my network drives sugar sink uh, network map drives all of it will will be in there and if you disconnect them it'll reflect it within uh, your little volumes deal there so basically I'm going to connect a uh, USB thing here. And there, I guess I'd prefer if I want to have all these things uh, connecting to go vertical rather than horizontal, to be honest with you. Um, it's not going to update in the actual list. Um, you, you just have to mouse off and I guess click it again. So there's the USB drive. Um, I don't use my OS this way, nor do I use Windows that way to mount and unmount. Uh, so anyway, that that was um, I'm kind of just looking at it, like looking at it right here. But anyway, that was the um, video. You only have to do that once, by the way. Um, you don't have to do that every time. Once you've established this volumes thing in your dock, it would stay there. <coughs> Excuse me. And every time you connect or reconnect, the thing would be, you know, in that list. And you can do the grid or, you know, what, however the hell you want. I mean, it, like I said, I don't see a point in emulating the taskbar, but that, it, this was for fun. The uh, the other thing was is there was a claim that that uh, Linux and and I, and I have some Linux operating system. Uh, anyway, but it was said that Linux emulates a lot of Windows functions and. And it's because it's a well laid out system. I think that the the, the statement well laid out system is a subjective thing as, a, as, as anything I think with UI related. Uh, I would say that Linux decided to go, or these UIs within Linux decided to go with Windows because its user base is far more enormous than OS X. And why would you, if you're trying to appeal to these uh, users and you want some intuitiveness, why would you go for a percentage of the demographic out there of consumers is far smaller. OS 10 has never really, after Tiger, been about customization. Shoot, shoot the iPhone's not even, you know. And I guess some people are are, are really for getting it set. Um, I should mention because you know my dock doesn't have that shelf, and uh, I've never had the shelf when that was changed in, in Leopard and Tiger. I liked the Tiger dock, and so what, what what I had on my screenshot is the Tiger dock, um, and I didn't use any images or anything. Uh, yeah, I did a setting in terminal to, to just remove the shelf. You know, one thing though, I wish, I wish uh, Windows had when when I'm switching between uh, operating systems, is spaces. Linux has spaces and OS 10 has spaces. Um, man, I, I miss. That. I wish, you know, that's built into the uh, uh, operating system of uh, OS 10. Now, let me let me put a caveat on that. What you are watching is Snow Leopard. Um, I haven't really upgraded to Lion or Mountain Lion. I don't like Mission Control at all, and uh, I, I don't have any purpose really to upgrade to the even the Mavericks right now. Um, I just don't. I don't like where Apple went with 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 uh, Mission Control. There are apps. There's a there is an app out there that will bring spaces 
the traditional way that I have here in Snow Leopard to behave in, in Mavericks and everything else on up. Uh, and, and, and I'll, I'll be, uh, you know, because I'm going to get another Mac, uh, and, the, and I don't know, is it next year? I'm probably getting the, the Mac Pro. So I'm probably going to have to get used to it and then tweak it, you know, to the way I want to, and, uh, you know, have it do that. So anyway, this is for fun. Good old Mac versus PC uh, days. Uh, thanks for watching.